come in and be ready to hoop. Uh, obviously, I love this is what I love to do. So, uh, any chance that uh, I can get to play, um, I'm gonna try to make the most of it. What was your favorite play tonight that you made? Um, probably on defense where we uh, Wiggins spun and he beat me, and I was able to recover and get the block. That was probably my favorite one. What what just was working for you throughout the night? It seemed like it was just. Things started clicking from, from the moment you got into the first half. Yeah, I think uh, just playing confidently and you know being aggressive uh, definitely helped me uh, a lot going into this game. Uh, I didn't play the best game uh, against Zach. Uh, I haven't played in a while, so you know trying to get off the rust and uh, I got to be better with that. But at the same time, you know coming in today, I kind of had a feel a little bit and uh, you know had a strong game plan going in. And I think that I just picked my spots and was aggressive early and kind of got the thing wrong for me. To build off Jeff's question a little bit. When you do know that there is no big and you are getting a certain amount of minutes. Does that help your preparation going into a game, knowing that I'm going to have X amount of minutes tonight? Um, I'm supposed to say no, but definitely yes. Uh, knowing that you're going to play, uh, definitely mentally, you know, stay engaged and kind of stuff like that. Um, even when we're not playing, or I'm not playing, I'm still staying engaged because you just never know. Uh, foul trouble, uh, God forbid, but somebody gets hurt, uh, you know, you got to just always be ready. But when you know you're going to play, you know, in the morning, like you're just thinking a little bit more, and you know, you're understanding. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit more, and it's less of a surprise. It's more, you're more ready for it. Would you um, just look back at how far you've come since maybe this time last year, or when you got or first got here? What what sticks out to you? What's what's your your, your thoughts on where you started to where you are now? Um, definitely a lot of growth. Um, I think you know, I've gotten stronger. I've gotten more comfortable with our system and. I mean, I think I became a better basketball player. I put in a lot of work in the off season and you know during the season. Uh, that's a big you know thing for me. You know, not just working in the off season and then going through kind of the motions during the season when it comes to workouts. Like I work out hard during the season because I really am trying to get better. And uh, I'm not going to play every game. Like I got to you know stay in shape and be ready and all that kind of stuff. And I think just the position that I'm in and like when I came in. Uh, Two years ago versus where I am now, I just I feel so much more confident and comfortable playing, and I have a good relationship with my teammates and all that. So I'm very positive with how things going, and I know it's only going to get better. The people around the program have seen you day by day get better. Do you, but do you think you maybe tonight would be a surprise to people outside that aren't familiar with, with the work you put in and all that stuff? Um, I mean, I hope it's not a surprise, but uh, if it is, uh, you know. It's a good surprise, and I'm um, happy uh, it could be like that. But, you know, I've, they see me work every day, and uh, they see what I'm trying to do, and how I put my words to actions and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, obviously maybe not this big of a game, but at the same time, I think they kind of expect me to keep getting better and keep growing. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you.